Hey everyone, welcome to the FilterGrade YouTube channel. The credit roll is one of the most important parts to any movie. This is where you give credit and thanks to the team that helped the project come to life. But if you don't know what you're doing, making a credit roll that's hundreds of lines long probably seems like a daunting task that will be difficult to keep track of while animating. Well, if you're using Adobe Premiere Pro, that is not the case. In this video, we have two methods of creating easy credits, and both will result in the same end product. It just comes down to your personal preference of how you like to edit. Whichever method you choose, it will be a lot easier to make your credits if you've already typed them up in a word processor and can just copy and paste them into your project. You'll still need to apply formatting within Premiere Pro, but it's much easier to have your text prepared, so go ahead and do that first. Method number one, legacy title. The first method uses the legacy title tool. To access this, go to File, New, Legacy Title. After you confirm your resolution and name settings, create a text layer and copy and paste your credits into it. Then click on the symbol that has an up and down arrow on it. In that pop-up menu, click on Roll. This will turn the layer into a credit roll automatically. To create a full roll that enters from off-screen and exits off-screen, select the corresponding checkboxes. Otherwise, the credits will start centered on screen and end the same way. As you add lines, a scroll bar will appear so that you can scroll up and down your new credits. Once you're happy, close the window. Then drag the new clip onto your timeline. The speed of the credit roll is determined directly by the duration you set for this clip in your sequence. So drag it or set the duration in order to make the credit roll the appropriate speed. Method number two, essential graphics. The legacy title tool is legacy for a reason. It's being phased out and has been replaced by what Premiere Pro considers to be a better tool. So for the second method, you'll want to be in the essential graphics panel. Click the text tool and paste it in your credits text. With the text layer selected in your essential graphics panel, check the roll box in the settings. This will enable the rolling aspect of a credit roll. Select start off screen and end off screen if you want either of those effects which we mentioned in the previous method. A scroll bar will appear on screen that you can use to scan through the roll and edit it. You can change the duration of the clip in your sequence to change the rolling speed. General Credits Tips Credits can be done any way you desire, however some more interesting layouts may require more than one text layer. Using the Essential Graphics panel, create another text layer and line it up perfectly with the original layer. Now you can type job titles in the left column and names in the right column, it'll be much easier to match these up. These quick tips should enable you to make a credit roll worthy of a feature film, and there's plenty of room for creativity even when you're dealing with just white text on a black background. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Adobe Creative Cloud tutorials, and we'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. And if you're looking for professional LUTs, Lightroom desktop and mobile presets, Premiere Pro templates, and more photo and video education, visit filtergrade.com today.